I never imagined that I would be, you know, given this award, being here in this studio talking about this. I never imagined that, but, but it is one of my proudest moment. Uh, I grew up in a family where, uh, you know, we the entire family was sitting next to my grandfather who was reciting, who was singing, or was, was singing their stories, stories from, you know, uh, the Shahnameh, which was a book written uh, a thousand years ago, which was the iconic book of Persian literature. So when he was telling their stories, he was pushing me into a very, very imaginative world. And I took that pencil and paper and I started drawing, illustrating those, those stories. And thus the story begins from there. The thirst that I had as a child, I was so curious, so, so curious. Sometimes I think that what if I had TV? What if we had radio? What if we had, you know, other uh, drawing books? We didn't have any of those. I wish my mom was alive to share it with her. Because um, um, when, when I was little, um, my job in the family was to bring bread from the bakery. And every time I was going to the bakery, I was uh, picking up charcoals from the bakery and you know, coming back, drawing on the people's wall and putting the rest of the charcoal in my pocket. And, and when she was washing my clothes, she was taking charcoals out of my clothes. But she never stopped me doing that. She always tried to, to push me the person that I am, that I wanted to be. My father wanted me to be a doctor. I studied very hard to be a doctor, but I always felt like that I'm an artist. I have to pursue, you know, the visual world. I went to Iran. I, I actually escaped from my, my family home and I went to Iran when I was only a teenager. I went to this art class, which I passed by accidentally, and I went in there and I uh, said that, can I be your student? And then the, the teacher asked me for a fee. I said, I had no fee. I said, can I work with you? And then because he was working mural paintings on the wall, propaganda murals. And when I came back to, uh, to Pakistan, I, I, I went to learn miniature painting from a very large scale. I went to very, very small scale of miniature painting. And then came back here in Australia you know, when I was given this, uh, this big opportunity is then my, the size of my work, the dimension of my work also you know, increased here. So I'm coming from part of the world where art was clashing with, with religious faith there. And artists are meant to, to make the invisible visible. So, and I was always thinking that I'm not in the right place, in the right, right geography, in the right part of the world. And I always wanted to to meet authors, musicians, you know, scientists, engineers. Um, and I felt like it's, it, art is a collaborative journey and you're learning from everywhere in, in, in your life. My art grew here in Australia. The amount of support, funds, grants, studios, and other community supports, the galleries supports, the museums, institutional supports, it's, it's, fun, it's phenomenal and each and everything counts and they are collaborating in my artistic journey. I came here on a visa called Distinguished Talent, which is for international artists. I was not expecting that I would get this visa, but whoever that person was who assessed that application, I want to share it with, with him or her. That thank you so much to provide me this opportunity um, to be myself. I want to acknowledge each and every collaborator uh, knowingly and unknowingly that I am inspired of. I want to acknowledge you know, all these refugees and with their stories. I want to acknowledge all my supervisors, my seniors, my, my other colleague artists. And of course, I want to acknowledge the, the honor of this land, allow me to, to be a free man on this land. Thank you.